Life of Pi by Jan Marker was published in 2001. It is about a young boy from India named Pasim Malter or Pai. The book starts out with Pai's childhood in India, how his father went from working at a hotel to owning a zoo. Pai is raised a Hindu but takes up Christianity while on a vacation with his family. Soon afterwards, he also becomes a Muslim. He practices all three religions to the amusement of his family and the disapproval of his religious leaders. Later, his parents decide to move to Canada due to the changing Indian government. They sell the zoo and the animals. They take a ship to Canada, but the ship sinks in the Pacific Ocean and Pai's family dies. Pai survives but finds himself trapped in a lifeboat with a male Bengal tiger named Richard Parker, taming Richard Parker while trying to survive is Pai's biggest struggle. Life of Pai portrays frequently and accurately the cultures of the Hindu, Catholic, and Muslim religions. Life of Pi won the Mam Booker Prize, the most prestigious prize for the original full-length novels in the Commonwealth. Jan Martel is a Canadian author who was born in Spain in 1963. His father was posted as a diplomat for the Canadian government at the time of his birth. He was raised in Costa Rica, France, Mexico, and Canada. As an adult, he spent time in the Middle East and India. His most famous work is Life of Pi, which published in 2001 which has sold more than 10 million copies worldwide and has been adopted into a movie. None of his other works were anywhere near as popular as Life of Pi, which sold twice as much as the second highest selling book that received the Mam Booker Prize. There are two main characters in Life of Pi. They are Pi, an Indian boy who follows three religions, and Richard Parker, a male Bengal tiger. Richard Parker shares the lifeboat with Pi. At first, Pi stays as far away from Richard Parker as possible, but he realizes that he must take care of Richard Parker in order to survive. He starts to feed Richard Parker and creates a schedule for training the tiger. Pi loves Richard Parker for giving him the will to survive and hates him for the complication he brings. They develop a stable relationship to the point where they are able to peacefully coexist. Life is a story of your choosing. The best stories come with faith, not only faith in God, but also faith that you can and will make the best life for yourself, even through hardships. In Life of Pi, three of the many cultural elements Jan Martel uses are as follows. Religion, family, and education. The pandit spoke first. Mr. Patel, Pasim's piety is admirable. In these troubled times, it's good to see a boy so keen on God. We all agree on that. The imam and the priest nodded. But he can't be a Hindu, a Christian, and a Muslim. It's impossible. He must choose. I don't think it's a crime, but I suppose you're right, the father replied. The three murmured in agreement and looked heavenward, as did father, once they felt the decision must come. Mother looked at me. A silence fell heavily on my shoulders. Hmm, Pisin, Mother nudged me. How do you feel about the question? Papu Gandhi said, All religions are true. I just want to love God. I blurted out and looked down, red in the face. Martel, chapter 23, paragraphs 49 through 54. Characteristics of the book's easy and likable spirit is the way that Pai tells us about his early pan-religiousness. A Hindu by origin, he stumbles one day into a hill town church and was captivated. A friendly priest led the little boy to Christ, and ever after, Pai tells us, he could not help think, thanking Lord Krishna for sending Jesus his way. A similar encounter in a mosque rendered Pai a worshipper in three different traditions. Wood, London Review of Books. They were dead. I can no longer deny it. What a thing to acknowledge in your heart. To lose a brother is to lose someone with whom you can share the experience of growing old, who is supposed to bring you a sister-in-law and nieces and nephews, creatures to people the tree of your life and give it new branches. To lose your father is to lose the one whose guidance and help you seek, who supports you like a tree trunk supports its branches. To lose your mother, well, that is like losing the sun above you. I lay down on the tarpaulin and spent the whole night weeping and grieving, my face buried in my arms. The hyena spent a good part of the night eating. Martel, chapter 46, paragraph 10. Suffering, grief, 
became clumsy and carnivorous. After enumerating his losses, Pai zooms out to picture the whole lifeboat. We now know that the Paina, while Pai grieves, is tearing into the zebra. Pai's juxtaposition, grief next to a ravenous devouring, provides a metaphor for his bereavement. Schmoop, schmoop.com Suddenly, his brute strength meant only more weakness. It was nothing compared to the strength in my mind. Martel, Chapter 80, Paragraph 4 Pi is a remarkable boy, highly intelligent, with a strong understanding of animal psychology. Wooten, PromptProofReading.com Life of Pi is indeed an incredible story. It is not only a story of survival, but also a story of love. Pi's love for religion, love for his family, and love for Richard Parker. It is an exciting story, an adventure not worth missing. Life of Pi has become one of my all-time favorite books, and I highly recommend it to everyone.